I like to do a lot of things, uh, and I like to have fun. But my, the thing that's closest to my heart, I think, is writing, poetry. And uh, there's no joke to go with it. I just really, uh, I feel like I'm my freest when I'm writing. I feel like all the problems I do have, you know, disappointments about love or health or family relationships, the poetry's a salve for that. It keeps me together. And uh, it's very close to my heart. So when this came today, uh, I was more than excited. I'd submitted some of my poetry to a journal and I'm getting the letter back. This is the envelope that I addressed. If you want your work back, you, uh, ooh, they didn't send my work back. Here it is, let's see. You're gonna find out with me whether my poem got accepted. Dear sir, your poem that was sent for consideration, My Long Weird Dream, has been read and reviewed by our editors. We regret to inform you it will not be published in the, the review at this time. Well, that's, uh, that's disappointing news. We do encourage you to keep trying as this poem provided our staff with many hours of joy as we passed it around the editorial offices. The consensus was that this is a brilliant effort, indeed, if it is parody. However, many of us were distressed by the notion that this may, in fact, be a sincere effort, in which case we fear not only for our culture, our country, and humanity in general, but also for our personal mental well-being, since the breathtaking banality, ineptitude, and repulsive nature of your work has left an indelible scar on our psyches, robbing us of any hope or optimism we may have had for the state of American letters. At once childishly naive and tritely world-weary, your derivative, tone-deaf, and awkward poem suffers from the most tortured syntax, confounding logic, and unbearable cliched imagery of anything produced by anyone ever, including Hitler's paintings, Charles Manson's songs, and Pol Pot's plays, had he written any. We regret we cannot return the copy you sent, as it is stained by every human bodily fluid imaginable as we try desperately to purge the evil from our souls through the mortification of our flesh. Good luck with future endeavors, the editors. I, it's uh, I love I love to write poetry and I'm, and I'm gonna keep loving it too